and all that stuff. And then this one right here is also family. And this one right here is for my friends who died in the war. You got the American flag and the POW flag missing the actual flag, you know, MIA, prisoner of war. And it's talented says all gave some, some gave all. You know, because some of us joined and served it. Some of us sacrificed the ultimate sacrifice. And this one, I want to make this a whole story. And then I got this one right here, which is my family's crest and the family sword that I actually have at home. And then I got this one for my heritage on my back. Irish Very awesome. And then I'm gonna get this one right here for um for my love for history and stuff like that. Because not a lot of people know what actually what the Knights Templar did. And uh, you ever heard of Friday the Thirteenth? Yeah, that was, that was where they the like they got a lot of them got killed on. Friday. Now what the what the church had done? Um, you can look it up. The church had the the church had empowered the Knights Templars. But what the church didn't expect is that the Knights Templar's power rivaled the churches. And the church, back in the days, didn't like competition, so to speak. So what they did is on Friday the 13th, they ordered the deaths of all the Knights Templars. Did they actually kill them all? That's up for debate. But personally, I don't think they did because, I mean, you can't kill every single Knights Templar. I mean, some are going to get away. I mean, it's like saying you killed all the ninjas. Exactly. I mean, you just, you just can't do it. And so this is my tribute to history because I love history. And that's actually what I'm going to do is I want to teach history at the high school and college level. Mm -hmm. And then that's what this tattoo is for, is for my love of history. And uh, it's something that I've always been like, but you have to know where you've been in order to know where you're going. Yep. And that's kind of why I'm getting this right here. Down to like the base of the wrist. So, you know, if I still need to work, I can still cover it. And it's going to go up to probably about right here. It's going to encompass the whole thing. That's stupid. The army uses the latrine. Oh, negative Ghost Rider. It is called, it is a head. Yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's, it's the head. It's, yeah. It's not a latrine. It's not a bathroom. It's a head. Right, right. Man, you know, I used, to work uh, at, I used to work at Best Buy. The Air Force uses what? Washroom? Is, is that the word in there? And what do they use? Washroom? The washroom? I'm not heard that. Yeah, man. Now, I used to work at Best Buy. My manager got mad at me. Like, she honestly got mad at me because I called her, hey, boss, I got to use the head. Right. Use what? I was like, I gotta use the head. She was no, it's called a bathroom. I said, exactly. I gotta use the head. Yeah. Say it one more time and you're gone. I was like, I gotta go use the head. I gotta go use the head. <laughs> you know, the worst part about getting a tattoo on your arm is, is that you know when the hair grows back, it just it, it, yeah. It, it just what? When the hair grows back on your arm, it itches like. And on top of that, you gotta deal with the itchiness of the tattoo peeling. Yeah. Hey, I feel like a little girl again. <laughs> again? You ever seen, oh, you're funny. Now, you, ever seen, you ever play Black Ops uh, Zombies? No, I don't have any video games at home. Or computer games. No, then uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies, uh, one of the guys would say, I feel like a little girl again once you get a new gun or something like that. My, my kids are way into that game. Are you? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> say goodbye, bare arm. My nine-year-old, uh, we were game shopping not too long ago, and he picked out the remake of Duke Nukem. Oh, wow. And he sat there playing it for about 15 minutes. Dad, this game sucks. <laughs> I said, dude, it sucked when I was in high school, Ooh, man. Yeah, yeah it, it sucked back then, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sucked back in the days when we were still mobile. using computers yeah. and using floppy disks. Yeah, with tanks and all that stuff. <laughs> This is going to be actually a good video then. Yeah, it's good. It's oh, yeah. It's never good. Good. No. Steve Eager? No. Never met with Eager? Uh, it's not with Eager. 
Yeah. I'll constantly shave over the tattoo of the the pin up that you did. Mm-hmm. And so so the hair will get over it and she won't look like she's got a hairy mug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. See what I mean? Yeah, that's gonna look really good. And then I got room up here to put the prayer. Exactly. That's what I was, I was hoping it would all lay out where we had room. It actually worked out quite nicely. Sorry, I'm a hairy little bastard apparently. It happens to the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. First one's like 495 for a screenshot, man. <laughs> oh, man, that Jager bottle was like this freaking big. I'm not even kidding. Like this freaking big. Go in there. It looked like, you know that restaurant right here? Mm-hmm. It looked like there was something in the ice. You know, you know. I was looking at him and showing him. I was like, dude, what is this? So after I finished like three more bowls, so you know, took about to say, yo, this is nasty. And they gave me a Jager bottle that was literally about that big. Damn, over here? Yeah, and it gave it to me for free, too. I had a margarita yesterday. I almost got me half drunk. Yeah, dude, that's what we had when we were there. He had the little glass margarita, and I had one, and then uh, he had a beer, right? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, hey, man, you want the big one? I was like, well, what's the big one? He's like, that big old medieval one? I was like, give it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so. And yeah, bring me a winch as well. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Start this at 12 o'clock today, now it's 4 o'clock and we're just getting started. We'll be here till 9. <laughs> awesome. I'm not worried about it. I didn't have anything planned. That's why we chase each other at the same time. Well, glad we're not getting planned. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good thing. Oh, man, I was going to go to Six Flags in the morning, but we're going to go tomorrow because the park closes today. Oh, have you, have you seen the new Skyscreamer ride that they're opening up? I work at Six Flags. Oh, you yeah. did? But yeah, it's not open yet, but Skyscreamer's going to be 30 miles an hour. Oh, they already have, this. They already have it up. Sweet. Atlanta or Alabama? So what's, well, like, what's what I do? Yeah, it's, the, it's like a swing. It just takes you around and around, but it's literally 400 feet up in the air. Yeah. It's higher than the Superman Tower Power, right? Yeah, it's, higher, it's higher than the Superman Tower, it's higher than Glide, and it's higher than the old fashioned tower that was built back in the 70s. Really? Nice. It's got the old, you know that big old orange tower that you see up there? Yeah. That was about 30 years old. It's 100 feet taller. How are you doing right now? That's a really tender spot down there. Let me tell you. I and mean, the thing about tattoos is it hurts, but it's so addicting. So I guess you'll be switching to your right hand for masturbating for now. Oh, no, I'll still use that. <laughs> yeah, I like about it. It's really I, smooth. I, 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 can guarantee you, too long. I can guarantee you I won't be showing this video to my parents. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. We'll be able to put the magazine over, over his dick and everything. Mom and Dad, look at my new project, project I'm working on here. Yeah. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure my film school teacher's like, well, this would make it far more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you dick. <laughs> it's Mr. Dick to you. Yeah, okay, Jarhead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this video is gonna have The worst part is, I'm trying really hard not to like tense up because I always tense up when I get tattoos. So, wh- you, what is the stupidest tattoo anybody's ever asked you to do? Penis. Like- <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. These ugly little stupid South Park character things. They weren't even South Park. <laughs> like these little fucking skull things, and they're stupid. He came and got like half of the sleeve of them. Uh. Yeah, there's like little ugly fucking thing. But I'm probably the same price. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Uh, it doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would be right on the bone. I didn't know you like instrumental music. Oh, yeah. I love that. You know, I have a good classical show with Beethoven and um, Mozart and the other guys. So worth the pain. I got, I got, I got, uh, Requiem. I got the Requiem the fifth. The fifth Requiem drama. Right room number five, that's the one I have. Not too big, not too big, not too little. But it, it's gonna fit right back here, though, right back here. Yeah. And it's, and, uh, I mean, you the artist. So. <laughs> I mean, uh, so what, what can you tell? How much you gonna run? <laughs> how much you gonna cost, man? Come on, man, tell me, what's the price? Remember how bad it hurt when you, 
you rubbed that alcohol on my. How much to make a tattoo? <laughs> as much as it takes me to love you long time. <laughs> oh, sucky, sucky for tattoos. Oh, how much you gonna do? The very first tattoo is the. Uh, I get that. Was this one? I got it. Um, let's see, I got to A school. Oh God, when did I get to A school? It was it September eighth, I believe, two thousand and eight? And uh, September 9th, I went out and got my first tattoo. Even though I wasn't supposed to. Because <laughs> they have a thing when you're in the Navy, like right after you get to A school, they want to keep you there on base for like the first week. And uh, my roommate said, hey bro, because you know, when you get to A school, you don't have any civilian clothes whatsoever. All you got is your uniforms. Yeah. And so my roommate, my two roommates said, hey bro, you want to go out and town with us? I was like, am I allowed to like, dude, throw all these civvies, here's your car, come with me. and nobody knows. Exactly. Yeah. So that's exactly what I did. I went out and got drunk as fuck and uh, got a tattoo. But I had to have this one touched up, redone three times because the original. I got it for tit for tat out in the Pensacola, Florida, and don't ever, ever. Go don't go there. there. Oh okay. hell no. Don't ever go to Pensacola. No, no, Pensacola is fine. Pensacola is great. Oh, but don't go to tit for tat. Don't go for tit for tat because let me tell you, it's like a hooker in church asking for forgiveness. It just doesn't make any sense. One night he realized he was really, really drunk and that he needed to go ahead and go home, and so he uh, he stood up from the bar stool and promptly fell on the floor. He's like, man, I'm really drunk. And so he, he stood back up again and takes one step forward and falls again. Well, he drags himself to the door, pulls himself up on the door frame, takes a step out on the street and falls again. Well, he ends up making it all the way home, kind of just crawling, dragging himself. And uh, gets home, goes to sleep, wakes up the next morning, and his wife is sitting there, and she says, uh, Patty, did you get pretty drunk last night? He goes, he goes, yes, I did. I got really drunk last night. She said, she said, I was wondering because Mick at the bar called and said you left your wheelchair again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't say it. it was, I work at Walgreens and there's one lady come up all the time with her little kids and she'd have like real low cut shirt on and right across her boobs and stuff, bitch, in big old English letters. Oh my I was like, God. I can't, I can't wait. It's tattooed? Yeah. I kid you not. Just in big in old English t- style letters, bitch. I think I can just I can't wait to talk about that first uh, parent teacher meeting. No kidding. Well, we want to discuss your son's be Oh, never mind. Never mind. Right, now Outline is done. Yeah. Awesome. That's the rope. Oh. Oh. C'est chaud, brother. C'est chaud, mon Dieu. Yeah, that was fucking awesome. Oh my God. Fuck you, that hurts. I know. Right? Yeah, I should have I knew I, knew I should have had another shot. I'd like to do one more. I love you right now, but I fucking hate you. Yep. <laughs> and that sums up the tattoo video thing. Pretty much. I'd- you big, love your tattoo artist before but, and after and during, you just fucking hate them. <laughs> kind of sounds like a personal trainer. Yeah, kind of. It's good enough. Yeah, but a personal trainer doesn't use a needle gun on you. Yeah, no, he just, you know. He just gives you 80 pound weights to try and curl up. Or something. Mm-hmm. Always trust your tattoo artist. That helps. Yeah. Unless he's the guy that gave that girl that really awful Marilyn Monroe tattoo. Yeah. That's true. The one that's been online everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like. My favorite one's the tattoo artist who, was, uh, who he found out that his girlfriend cheated on him. And uh, a pile of shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's what? Like, she thought it was going to be a Narnia scene. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And he tattooed a steaming pile of shit with flies coming off. Uh, yep. Right there on her back. Oh, that's fucking glorious. I didn't research my first tattoo. Oh, I didn't either. Yeah. I just, I, 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 I honestly, for years, I went into tattoo shops and said, Give me a tattoo here. Right. What do you want? Right. A tattoo. Right. You know, uh, that was just kind of the way, you know, and so I kind of know how a lot of people operate when it comes down to it. They're not really sure what they're looking at. Right. 
You what? Man, broke that one. Yeah, well, he needs to look at your tattoo, anyways. What must have been the most painful part? Shading. Shading. Now that's. No, I mean, like, the, of the arm. Uh, the wrist and the bone by the boot. But not just the whole damn thing hurts. I'm real glad he's one hell of an artist because I wouldn't put up with it if he wasn't. Let me tell you. Man walks in, you know, man sitting down at the coffee table drinking a beer, right? Mm -hmm. Wife walks in and says, honey, did you miss me? And he goes, every bullet so far. Yeah, that stencil material, that'll disappear. It'll probably take a day or two all together to go all the way. Yeah, it is. I didn't know. Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> how'd you know? <laughs> you got all defensive. Oh, how'd, you, how'd you know? <laughs> I knew you loved Lizzie McGuire. Okay, would you take that uh, piece there and put it where I can see it? Thank you. Because I'm going to borrow some of its uh, dynamics for my wrinkling and so on and so forth. So. Hey, oh, we're doing the gown now? Yes, sir. Last part of the tattoo, right here, ladies and gentlemen. How do you feel? Now that it's about to be finished. I need a beer. You need a beer? beer, he says. I need a lot of beer. Several beers, he would prefer. <laughs> what kind of beer would be best? Oh, Bud Light Lime. Yeah. Would you like one beer? Or I'd like two about beers. enough until I have <laughs> That's it. Right? Yep. You did it. We're done. You did, you did it. Woo! Six and a half hours later. <laughs> Y'all should have a tattoo belt. So every time someone actually finishes, yeah. it's like something to do. I've actually got a, I've got an old ship's oh, bell that I wrote Virgin Bell on. So I had in one shot that I'd make them break the bell on their first tattoo. That's six hours now. Virgin Bell. Six, awesome. six and a half hours almost, yeah. That's badass, actually. Uh, and that hurts a lot, too, what he's doing right now. <laughs> Yeah, one second. Is it yeah, it does. <laughs> How far along are you? Oh, wow, I'll ask him. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I'll say, you're so stoic right Brandon. now. You're not squaring or anything. I quit so. Yeah, we did used to walk into tattoo shops with pockets full of money. And if nobody was cool, I'd walk right I'd back I'd take my money end. elsewhere. Yeah, I'm going to take this somewhere Let's else, continue. guys. See, it's how you've got three checklists on a tattoo artist for me. One, first thing you look at is the attitude. Second thing you look at is their work. Yeah. And third thing you look at is their relation, or not their attitude towards you, but their like their relationship with you. Like he and I guarantee he and I are gonna go for beers. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. If you can become friends with a tattoo artist, someone you can have a beer with, that right there is that right there is a fucking keeper in my opinion.